Hi, in this video we will see the example of prefetch features that is message prefetching. So, as per the documentation, when you enable the prefetch feature for any of the official service bus clients, the receiver requires more receiver requires more messages than what the application initially asked for up to the specific prefetch count. As the messages are written to the application, the client acquires further messages in the background to fill the prefetch buffer. So what exactly it is, we will show in the example that prefetch sample that we are uh, currently I will show is that the difference between having the same method for the receiver where the prefetch is turned on or maybe you can call uh, more than one and the zero count. So prefetch is the background receiver oper uh, operation and that acquires the message into the buffer before the application itself call the receive and therefore optimize and often accelerate the message flow. So it is mostly required in a performance tuning. So let's go to the example. So this is a very simple example. We have a send message method and then we have a receive message method. So last count I have checked that it is 16 for a first count and at least in half in the second count that is if you see in the main method i have taken the receive message twice and the send message for once so send message is nothing it's doing just a building the kind and then after create the message batch and then adding into the message batch and then send to the service bus and just create all the messages and then the, what the receive message it does it creates the first of all stopwatch to check the timing and then after we create a build and here we are passing the, in the receive batch as a parameter that is a prefetch count and the prefetch count we are setting over here while building the receiver client that is prefetch count here connection string we are taking then create in receive then just a basic parameter and then we put a prefetch count and as a parameter then specifying the queue name and then build the client then it's a normal processor that we are taking the messages and we are iterating it and then we are stopping it and we are just checking the time so this is the time duration then when i try to run let's try again running it see again it took a very less time while receiving it so most of the time in most of the time case it will have a very performance impact for if you have bulk uh, messages so rather than taking as a receiving all the messages then better it should be put into the buffer in the background so that's it thanks for the watching see you in the next video